All right, guys, here we are. We're back at the uh, KKK cave. You've seen a, a little bit of a three minute, four minute clip that I took earlier on in the week. Um, this time we're actually gonna do a little more in depth. Uh, go inside, look around, um, and all that good stuff. Um, up here used to sit the keystone, which was basically the sign, and it used to say KKK right there. So definitely pretty intriguing and uh, being able to document our history is just pretty incredible and seeing our reminders of our past even if it is a bad path we still need to remember it and learn from it so um, we're going to go inside here in just a minute and I hope you guys enjoy the uh, little tour does anybody in here just want to let you know I'm just filming not meaning to disturb or interrupt Look at these doors. Mm -hmm. Definitely tried to, back in the day, they definitely wanted it sealed. This is where the chain would be, but through the years, kids have knocked it down, stuff like that. Um, this is what's really cool is too, if you look on the inside, right here, they would actually open that up, make sure you were part of the clan. And uh, if you wasn't, they would close it, keep you hidden. And then if he was, they would let you in because they would see who it was. So pretty cool. They had another one right here, but it looked like it had been ripped off. But now we're going to go inside and tour this cave. Okay, so we'll actually spend a little bit of time in there and I'll show you guys some of the coolness of it. Um, and to the Facebook Live viewers, I'm going to go get ahead. You like a quarter of the way in and then you'll still have signal. Or you did on my phone. Are you sure? I'm sure. Let me see. I may do this. All right, guys, we're going in the cave, so definitely uh, just enjoy the sights and the sounds around. We're gonna go explore this awesome relic of time. Um, join me, shall you? Okay, we'll go on in. You mean hold the flashlight? Oh, yeah, I'll have you hold that tripod too for a second. <clears throat> Alright, we're making our way in. Sorry guys, we're trying to get inside the cave. Like I said, if there's anybody in here, we're just uh, taking video for the YouTube channel I'm part of, and there's nobody in here, thank goodness. <laughs> Look at all those crickets. We're gonna look Hold at on. these doors. Let me go oh, look at that spider. Holy oh, that's a big spider. That's where the keystone would sit, right there. God, there's another one. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. But yeah, guys, look at these doors. These are really cool doors. The old steel definitely tried to keep it secretive. Um, Oh my goodness. Yep, somebody's old pipe. That's disturbing. Somebody else crack pipe. Yuck. Where? Right there. Uh, what's shattering? No, I'm not touching it. What's up, everybody? We're here at the KKK cave. And uh, definitely a really cool adventure today. Um, this is, uh, was spider go? Oh. part of the KKK. Yeah, look at that spider. Everyone look at this spider. Holy shit. But uh, yeah, we're going to go check out the uh, back part of it. There used to be, somewhere in the center, there was a, uh, a ventilating system where they would actually, where you, they could have fires. Oh, wow, that's an old shoe. That's pretty crazy. Looked like a fire pit there. 
but they had a, a ventilation system in this place, um, which would probably be, it ain't gold, it looks like it, but it's not. <laughs> This place is really cool. Like I said, this place uh, back in the day had like a s ventilation system, so you could actually have fires and all that stuff. And I believe this was it right here that would actually go out and you could s have fires. Yeah, it looked like they covered that up with rocks and stuff. Yeah, that's definitely been the covered up area. Because if you look around, it's all black from the the fires that was used and uh, whatnot in here. Um, and it was a little bit higher up on the ground here. Uh, there's an old cot that like somebody slept on. So that's pretty creepy. But yeah, that's definitely where they had the fire. And like I said, if you would walk up on the hillside here, you would probably see the top of this and that's where they filled it in. But uh, they had it where you could have fires and all that good stuff, so. Um, when they were meeting up they this is where they would basically plan their meetings plan what they were going to do for the next week um, and things like that so there's probably a lot of crazy stuff that was planned here um, originally the KKK was a good group of people and then it became racist and uh, the people started becoming corrupt and things like that so um, that's when we got to appreciate our history even if it was bad we still needed respect the uh, aspect of it's still history, you know, learn from it, grow from it. But yeah, look at all the smoke on the rock here. This is just crazy. This is definitely where they had the fire. You see what I'm talking about right there? That's crazy. Huh? I know it's creepy. Yeah, it's a blanket. Yeah, there's definitely... I'm not too sure what that is, honestly. Some type of A, does that have something to do with it? I have no idea. Unless it meant for like Klansmen, I don't know. But there's an old bed frame. Somebody actually did sleep in here. And there's an old blanket here. When you really look at this place, it's just... It's crazy knowing that some of the most uh, hated men now, because of their racism, um, plan their meetings and things in here. And to be honest, I'm documenting this because it is a piece of our history, folks. And I'm not encouraging what they did was great because it's not. Being racist and being hateful and stuff is not a good thing. Um, I'm going to try to take a couple shots in here as well. Um, I think it'd be really cool to do some long exposures. So I'm going to try a couple things in here. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this tour in just a minute. We'll go back up to the front and uh, check out some of the stuff. And uh, look at the bird's nest, things like that they made. The wildlife. My favorite thing is that really that entrance coming in. It's definitely that old granite, that old... Uh, type stone um, it's just really cool to see um, like I said though guys I'm not saying what they did was great but I am documenting our history that's what I'm about and uh, these doors are incredible big giant things of uh, granite big boulders definitely you can tell it was hand shaped and uh, stuff like that. But like I said, right up there where you see the light coming through, that's yeah, where the uh, KKK used to sit, like the the emblem. <clears throat> really cool place. Pretty uh, amazing that we found it. And uh, finally was able to get a good video. Um, also included in this video is a, a bridge and all that good stuff. And uh, definitely stay tuned, guys. It's going to be a really cool 20-minute video of our entire uh, vlog out here. So stay tuned, and uh, thanks for watching, guys, uh, coming from the KKK cave.